actually explosive capsules and they give us a shower of sparks and a mild explosion when they hit. Meanwhile, back inside the fridge, the compressor is pumping the refrigerant round, but it still needs something to turn it on and off at the right temperature. It does this with this fine tube full of a liquid. The liquid expands as the temperature rises, and that pushes out this small bellows at the end. We've got one of these thermostat switches set up on the this model here. If I hold the end to raise the temperature, um, the bellows will expand and at some point the contacts on top will flick over and the compressor will start up. <clears throat> Sometimes takes a little while. Perhaps it's not going to do it. Ah. Well, of course, the thermostat switch also has a dial on it to adjust the temperature that the compressor comes on. It does this by moving the contact arm. The closer the arm to the bellows, the less the bellows has to expand to flick the switch. Thermostat switches have hundreds of uses, wherever something needs turning on or off at a particular temperature. This is a water clock I built a few years ago with a friend. On the hour, water is released from a tank on the roof, and this starts it all working. It was important to stop the water freezing on the way down, so we fitted this thermostat to turn everything off whenever the temperature falls too low. That completes the basic fridge mechanism, but without a thick layer of insulation, all the cold would quickly be lost. This fridge has a blanket of fiberglass, just like roof insulation. Old fridges used to have massive door handles and massive hinges that could apply a large closing force, <clears throat> and this squashed the rubber seal all round the door into contact with the frame. To apply enough force, the whole fridge had to be very strongly made. An elephant weighing over four tons was to stand on top of this new frigid air, and it must not show any signs of strain under this tremendous load. Will it take it? Can this new frigid air stand up under such terrific punishment? Those were the questions that flashed through everyone's mind. But look, our elephant isn't in doubt. And as he cautiously but firmly places each foot on top of the frigid air, it is proved without a question of doubt that this new frigid air cabinet is a real masterpiece of construction. Yes, gentlemen, here is a cabinet so sturdy, so strong, that the door can be opened and closed while it supports this tremendous load of over four tons. In modern fridges, there's a flexible magnetic strip inside the rubber seal. You can sometimes see the seal pulling itself against the door frame just after you close the fridge. Here, we've cut one of these seals out of a modern fridge and uh, I can pull the magnetic strip out, just to prove it's magnetic. This has made it unnecessary for fridges to have such massive handles and hinges. In fact, the whole casing can now be much less substantial. When I was repairing domestic appliances for a living, one of the most common faults I come across on fridges was an ill-fitting door seal. There's an easy way to check whether the door seal is actually gripping the cabinet or not, and that's to drop in a piece of paper, which should be quite a tight locked fit and here as you can see there's a gap now there's quite an easy way of repairing this which was rather embarrassing when you was in a customer's house uh, because the first thing to do was to get the customer out of the kitchen because the only way to repair it satisfactorily was brute force so you used to very subtly ask her for the guarantee or something like that so she went away to look at it and then you repaired it by merely putting your foot against the bottom and pulling like blazes and you'll find that the door then fits 
you can see that's grip. And of course, most people wouldn't like things like that done to their refrigerator. The most inadequate and flimsy parts of a modern fridge must be the doors. The plastic cracks up. The bottle stays pop out. And the icebox door has to take an, an immense strain every time you try and open it when the thing's iced up. <clears throat> In fact, I suspect that broken doors are the most common reason why fridges are thrown away. But perhaps I'm being too critical. A recent witch survey found that fridges were about the most reliable of our household machines. And certainly every single one of the fridges that we got for this program from the scrapyard was still in working condition. It has been said that the weakest part of all machines and computers is their interface with the outside world. And the idea of enclosing all the moving parts of a fridge as a single airtight unit has not only stopped all the leaks, but it's also produced a machine that has a quite unusual degree of reliability. Just think how many times a year your fridge has to turn on and off. The front of your fridge may be cheap and nasty, but I hope the next time you look at the back of your fridge, you'll regard it with suitable admiration. <laughs>